Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to use custom buttons in your iOS apps. So, the first thing we need to do is we have our basic button image, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up buttons for the regular iPhone and iPhone 4 with the retina, retina display, so the at 2x. I'm also going to show you guys how to scale buttons, whether you want a small button like this, or you want a button that stretches to fill the entire screen, or if you want a little bit wider one, I'm going to show you how to do that all dynamically and have um, Coca take care of all that for us. So let's get us a small image and why have just one small image and not just one larger or wider button that will that we can shrink if we need. And that's because we want a small bundle size. So we don't want our app being 30 meg and it's just filled up with different button image sizes. So this way is the best way it's how you can have a small uh, app size and still great looking buttons. So let me get my width how I want it. So 72 by uh, 42 maybe. Now let's go uh, 38. Alright, so we have our button. Um, if you see I have a margin of two pixels around it. So the background's transparent, which you have to have, and I have a two pixel margin between where my button actually ends and, um, and the transparent background begins. So now we need to save this image. And in this software, if I hit save image, uh, I have this add at 2x for iPhone 4. So this will export a double size for me and name it all in one go but if you don't have a software to do this it's really easy I'll show you let me just name this blue button I'll hit save and we look at my desktop here I have the regular button and then I have the at 2x button so we make sure this size is yeah so it's it's doubled if we see the size the at 2x is doubled but all you have to do is, if you don't have a program that does that, just double these. So 72 becomes uh, 144, and then 38 will be uh, 76. So yeah, so you just scale this up, 144, and then 76 and then you save that with an at 2x on the extension so you can see blue button at 2x and then the regular blue button All right. so now that you have those let's get out of our design app and jump into Xcode alright so I'm gonna jump into Xcode here we're gonna create a new project it'll just be a view based and then we'll just call this button tutorial and it's for iPhone. We'll hit next and we'll just put this on my desktop. And now that we have this, let's jump into our XIB and add us a button. So we'll just drag this out here and we're going to have this button stretch all the way to the end of our screen or side of our screen. And we'll just um, put some text in here. We'll just call this, um, I don't know. So we'll just have that. We need to change this text color to white because our background's blue. And in this button, we will just have our uh, instead of rounded rec, set the type to custom. So now we have this button. Let's create a property in our view controller.h for this button. So we'll say at property non-atomic retain IB outlet and then UI button and then we'll just call this um, my button and now that we have that let's go into our .m file and synthesize it so we can access it in here so synthesize can't even say it again my button alright so now that we have that let's connect our code to the actual button so we're back in our 
XIB file, right click on files owner, and see we have my button here, just take and drag it to our button. Alright, so now that we have that, let's save that and go into our button tutorial view controller.m. And we need this method right here, which is commented out, so let's uncomment that of view did load. And we're going to have to set up our image views. So, God, yeah. All right, we got it some space. And we'll say uh, we need to get one image. We're actually, yeah, we need to get our image, which we set as the background image. And then we'll have to modify some. So, we need UI image. And then we'll just call this um, background. And that is equal to a UI image and then image named. And whatever we name this, it will be a string. So blue button dot PNG. Right, let's close that and save it. Now we need to get our blue button in here. So We'll right click on our button tutorial over in our navigator, hit add files to button tutorial, and right now let's just click on blue button. We'll hit add and save this. And now we need to set the background image of my button as this background. Let me fix the spelling. So we'll say my button set background image and we'll set it to background and what can control state what UI control state normal so just the normal up state of this button so now let's run this and we're just running it on basic iOS here so we can see it's uh, it stretches it it distorts it our corners are horrible and it's just bad so what we need to do is we need to set um, caps so we need to set an upper cap and a left cap that we're going to have uh, this repeat so actually let me go back into app controls here and let's change this back to 72 and 38 I think we had it and we need a I think that was five. So we have to get a spot in this where um, we have some pixels that are not on the corner up and down. So I'm going to open this up with Photoshop just so I can show you guys. Come on. All right. So. We got this image and we need to find how many pixels are from the left edge and from the top. So I'm going to drag out a, a, a grid and it's about 10 pixels to our left and we'd be safe to say 10 from the top. So 10 by 10. So I'm going to close that, close that and let's stop this debug here. And to do this stretch, we need another UI image. Say at, um, let's call this a fixed background. And it will be equal to our background image, which we just named background. And we'll say, say stretch image with left cap width. So this is where we input our integers for how much. So we said 10 by 10. So if you don't want the top stretched any, you can just set it to zero. But while we're stretching the image like this and setting the caps, we might as well do it so it's very scalable. So now that we have that, let's go back to the My button where we set the background image. And we need to set it to our fixed background. So 
Now when we run this, we should see a nice clean image that's stretched. And we did. So now we don't have that stretching on the corners where it's uh, all pixelated and fuzzy and it works. So now let's look at, this is the regular um, iPhone. So it's not the retina display. So let's go to hardware, device, and retina. And this will load up, up the retina. And if we look at this, it doesn't look too bad. So, but we can see it's kind of fuzzy around the edges here. So it's not as crisp as it could be. So how do we uh, fix that for the retina display? It's pretty easy. Let's go back into our button tutorial navigator here. Hit add files to button tutorial. And we'll say blue button at 2x. So we already had that made. It's double the size. So now that we have that added, we just uh, let me command shift K and clean this and let's uh, build it command B and then command R to run. And we can see that it's a lot cleaner now uh, around the edges. It's not as fuzzy as it was uh, this last time we checked it. So. Uh, that's all you have to do to stretch images and uh, work with retina display.